Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply bisecting k means clustering algorithm on the given data set so that we can divide the data set into different clusters with the help of simple solved example. In the previous video, I have already discussed bisecting k means clustering algorithm. Link for that video is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given uh, six data points. Given these data points, we need to apply bisecting k means clustering algorithm and then we need to divide these data points into three groups or you can say that three clusters here. Here we need to use the Euclidean distance to calculate the distance between the centroid and the data points. So the first type of uh, bisecting k means clustering algorithm is we need to define the value of k that is already given as a part of problem definition. So this k is equal to 3 means uh, we need to divide the data set into three groups here. The second step of uh, bisecting k-means clustering algorithm is to set all data points as a single cluster. So cluster 1 contains all the given data points. There are 6 data points are there, all are present in cluster 1 here. Now what we need to do is, uh, in the third step, we need to apply the k-means clustering algorithm and we need to divide this uh, data points into two clusters. So the value of k is equal to 2 for third step in this case. Now, uh, to apply the k-means clustering algorithm, we need initial centroids. So, randomly, I will select two data points as the initial centroids. Centroid 1 is uh, 2, 3 and centroid 2 is 8, 8 in this case. You can select any data points as the centroids and then you can apply the k-means clustering algorithm. Now, what we need to do is, uh, we need to calculate the distance from the given data points to these uh, centroids here. Now, the question comes in front of us is how to calculate the distance. To calculate the distance, as said in the problem definition, we need to use Euclidean distance. That is, the distance is always equal to square root of x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square here. Now, we will calculate the distance from the first data point that is 2, 3 to the centroid 2, 3 here. That is, the square root of, the, in this case, x2 is equal to 2 here. So, it will be 2. x1 is 2 in this case, that is minus 2 here. That is, bracket square plus y2. y2 is what? 3 here and then y1 is how much? Again 3 here. So, 3 minus 3 bracket square. So, once you solve this equation, you will get 0 as the distance here. So, that is the first one. Now, we need to calculate the distance from second data point to this uh, centroid here. Now, to calculate the distance again, this is x2 here. That is uh, 2 minus 3 over here. That is x1 plus y2 is 3 y1 is 3 in this case, that is 3 minus 3 bracket square. Now, once you solve it, you will get 1 as the distance in this case. Similarly, we need to calculate the distance from all other data points to the first centroid. The distance looks something like this. Now, we need to calculate the distance from the same data points to the second centroid here. The first distance is 7.81. Similarly, we need to calculate all other distances here. Now, once you calculate the distance from the data points to the centroids, we need to check which is the minimum distance. Based on that, we need to assign the data point to one of the cluster here. Between these two distances, 0 is the minimum. Hence, the first data point is assigned to first cluster. Let's say that A is the first cluster. Between these two, again, 1 is the minimum. So, it will be assigned to the first cluster. Between these two, second one is the minimum. So, it will be assigned to the second cluster. Let's say B and so on here. So, once you assign the data point to the cluster, the assignment looks something like this. Now, after the first iteration, we got uh, two data points in cluster A and four data points in uh, cluster B. We need to calculate the centroid of uh, uh, these uh, clusters here. That is the centroid of cluster A and centroid of cluster B. To calculate the centroid of cluster A, we need to add the 2 and 3 here divided by 2. That will be equal to 2.5. 3 plus 3 divided by 2, that is equal to 3 here. Similarly, for these four data points, 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 9 divided by 4. Similarly, for the second uh, uh, coordinate of the data point. Now, once you do the calculation, you will get the new centroid as 2.5,3, 7.5,7 here. Now, once you get the new centroids, we need to calculate the distance from the same data points to the new centroids here. Once you calculate the distances using the Euclidean distance, you will get these distances. Again, we need to compare these distances, the one which is having minimum to which we need to assign the data point here. So, between these two, 0.5 is a minimum. Again, it will be assigned to cluster A here. Similarly, between these two, 0.5 is minimum. So, it will be assigned to cluster A. Between these two, 1.8 is minimum. Hence, it will be assigned to cluster B and so on. Now, once you assign the data points to the cluster, assignment looks something like this. Now, once you compare the previous assignment and current assignment, there is no change in the assignment here. The meaning of this one is whatever the data points we have assigned to cluster A and B, that is the final here. 
Now we have divided the data points into two clusters that is cluster A and cluster B. Cluster A contains uh, 2, 3 and 3, 3. B contains the remaining data points here. Now actually uh, in uh, this problem definition we need to divide the data set into three clusters. So for that reason in step number four of uh, bisecting k-means clustering algorithm we calculate the intra-cluster distance that is uh, also known as sum of the square distance. The formula to calculate the intra-cluster distance is summation of i is equal to 0 to n xi minus x bar bracket square yi minus y bar bracket square. Xi is the first component of the data point and yi is the second component. X bar is the mean of first component, y bar is the mean of second component. Uh, we have to calculate it for cluster A and cluster B separately. Uh, for cluster A, first we need to calculate x bar. Uh, for cluster A, you can say here 2 plus 3 divided by 2, that is nothing but 2.5. Y bar is 3 plus 3 divided by 2, that is 3 here. Similarly, we have to calculate it for cluster B in this case. Now, once you calculate these centroids, uh, we can use this formula to calculate the sum of square distance for A and B. For A, this is how we can calculate it. Xi is uh, 2 in the first case. X bar is uh, 2.5 multiplied by Yi, that is 3, minus mean, that is uh, 3 here, bracket square. Uh, plus, because we have a summation here, Xi is 3 for the second data point. Mean is 2.5. Yi is the 3 minus mean is 3 here, bracket square. Once you solve this equation, you will get sum of square distance for A is equal to 0 here. Similarly, we have to calculate the sum of square distance for B that is equal to 3.5 in this case. Now, what we need to do in uh, uh, step number 5 is, we need to select a cluster which is having the largest uh, sum of square distance. For A, we have 0. For B, we have 3.5. Between these two, 3.5 is more. So, we will select B as the cluster. And then we will divide this cluster into two more clusters using k-means clustering algorithm. So in this case, we have selected B as the cluster to divide further. I will select only the data points in cluster B and then we will apply the k-means clustering algorithm and I will divide the data points into two clusters here. So in the next step, again, we have to go back to step number three. Uh, according to bisecting k-means clustering algorithm, we need to apply the k-means clustering algorithm and divide the selected cluster into two more clusters here. So the cluster B contains four data points. I have selected only those four data points. And then we need to apply k-means clustering algorithm and divide it into two clusters here. For that reason, first we need to select the initial centroids. The centroid 3 is 6.8, centroid 4 is 9.7. I have selected randomly these data points. You can select any data points and then you can apply the k-means clustering algorithm here. Again, we need to calculate the distance from these data points to these uh, centroids here. That is what I have written. We need to use the same Euclidean distance formula. Once you calculate the distances, they look something like this. Now, once you calculate the distances, we need to compare the distances and then we need to assign it to one of the clusters here. So in this case, uh, 0 and 3 are the distances. Between these two, 0 is minimum here. So we will assign this 6,82 to cluster C here. Next, uh, we need to compare these two, that is 2 and 1.4. Uh, between these two, 1.4 is minimum. So, we will assign it to one more cluster. Let's say that uh, D here. Similarly, we have to do it for another two data points. Now, after doing assignment, we got to two more clusters. One cluster is C, another cluster is D. C contains one data point and D contains three more data points here. Again, we need to calculate the new centroids here. For uh, this C, we got the centroid as uh, 6,8 only because there is only one data point. For D, we have three data points. The centroid is 8,6.66 here. Again, we need to calculate the distance from these data points to these uh, uh, new centroids. The distances look something like this. Between these two, again, one is minimum, so it will be assigned to C here. Between these two, 1.34 is minimum, it will be assigned to D and so on. Now, after doing the assignment, there is no change in the previous and the current assignment. The meaning of this one is k-means has converged in this case. So, these are the final uh, cluster assignment. So, cluster C contains uh, one data point, 6,8, and D contains three data points over here. Now, after performing uh, this step, uh, we got uh, three clusters. A, we have already obtained. B is uh, divided into two more clusters. One is C and an another one is D here. So, total number of clusters, what we have obtained is three. That is A, C, and D here. And that is what is expected as per the problem definition.
so we don't uh, go with the step number four here because uh, in step number four we need to select one of the cluster and then we need to divide it further but actually we got the required number of clusters so we will stop here we will directly go to step number six in this case as said we will not go to step number four and five because we got the required number of clusters in this case so the first clusters contain uh, 2 comma 3 and 3 comma 3 second cluster contains uh, 6 comma 8 and the third cluster contain 8 comma 8 7 comma 5 and 9 comma 7 in this case so this is how we can apply the bisecting k means clustering algorithm for the given data points so that we can divide the data points into the required number of clusters I hope the concept of uh, bisecting k-means clustering algorithm is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.